Here we are, coming up on the release of SolarWorks 2023. Let's see how far our drawing mode has come and look back at some of the highlights of the past couple years. The year 2020 brought us detailing mode and that changed everything for large assembly drawings. Detailing mode is useful if you need to make minor edits to drawings of large assemblies or drawings with many sheets, configurations, or resource-intensive views. We also got better performance thanks to big improvements to the SolarWorks graphics pipeline. In 2021, detailing mode continued to evolve and impress us. We got functional enhancements to create and modify additional view types, dimensions, and annotations, as well as further display performance improvements, all saving a significant amount of time when creating massive drawings. In 2022, detailing mode received additional system options that improved performance, and it also replaced quick view mode. Plus, our context toolbar for dimensions of arcs and circles now include options to display the dimensions as a radius, diameter, or linear diameter dimension. Loved that one. Because we have all this awesome functionality in detailing mode, detailing mode replaces detached drawings, which are no longer supported going forward. Existing detached drawings will work as they do today, but if you save a detached drawing as a regular drawing, you cannot go back. In 2023, we can now open a drawing from a drawing. From the feature tree, we right-click on the component, select Open Drawing. You can also right-click on a table entry and select Open Drawing. You can right-click a component in the graphics area and from that pop-up menu, select the icon to open the drawing. Now you don't have to open the referenced model. You can open drawings right from other drawings. We also have a couple of great enhancements to our bill of materials. Quite often we need to make manual edits to our bombs and previously there was no easy way to indicate that a value had been edited. In 2023, we can assign a system color to modified bomb cells. When the bomb is active, the overridden values turn the color specified in system options, giving clear feedback this bomb cell has been modified. When the bomb is not active, the cells display and print normally. The overridden values can be restored to the original value with a simple right click. We now have the ability to add a quantity value to auto balloons. Previously, adding the quantity value was only available when creating balloons manually. In the property manager, turn on the quantity option and select your preferred designator. For those balloons with a quantity of one, for that individual balloon, deselect the quantity option. This will be a big time saver. The second enhancement to the bomb is the ability to customize the bomb based on a filter instead of manually hiding rows and columns like we did in the past. In 2023, each column header has a drop-down arrow to select the filter criteria and show only those specific items. There's a little filter icon in the column header indicating the filter is active. Click on it again to remove the filter. Filters can be stacked across several columns, further customizing the bomb. And what's great is that the associated balloons will update with the bomb. Now our bombs work just like a spreadsheet. That is huge. We add appearances to our parts to communicate the end state material. In the past, to show a transparent component in the drawing, the views display was set to shaded or shaded with edges. In 2023, there's an option in the views properties to see through transparent components. If you have a transparent body in a part, or a transparent component in an assembly, it can be displayed as transparent when the view is in hidden line removed or hidden line visible display modes. This option adheres to a new ISO standard and it allows us to clearly communicate our designs in a 2D drawing. Drawing mode has had some great advances over this multi-year enhancement project and it continues in 2023. Dassault Systems has given us some outstanding enhancements to performance, functionality, and workflow. And we'll wonder, how did we ever get along without them?